Students in the MIR are learning from absolutely world-class professionals and very talented teachers as well. And that, that's a very difficult combination to, to find in academia. So we're, we're very privileged to be having them with us. My name is Bill Flanick. I'm Senior uh, Lecturer of International Relations at Monash, and I am the Course Director for the Master of International Relations program. What we're able to do is we'll discuss these current events and these headlines, but we'll give you the context for it. When you study a Master of International Relations, you can pursue your career goals by choosing one of five specializations, foreign policy and security, international diplomacy and trade, political violence and counterterrorism, gender, peace and security, or advanced international relations. I'm Pete Lentini. I'm an associate professor of politics and the founding director of the uh, Global Terrorism Research Center. The Global Terrorism Research Center has been involved in what we'd like to think is some of the more cutting edge elements of countering violent extremism and understanding terrorism in Australia. Globalization is, is a prime driver of, of so many forces that contribute to contemporary terrorism, whether it be the movement of people's goods, ideas. And because you've got globalized networks, because you've got different points of interaction, you need a heightened degree of cooperation between countries, between their intelligence, police, and diplomatic services. And these are all different types of things that a solid curriculum, like you'll get in the Monash Masters of International Relations, will provide prospective students. Well, at, at Monash, what we do is we don't teach you what to think. It's more how to think. So it's about how to think critically, how to approach a problem, analyze it, which really just means breaking it into its individual parts and seeing how those parts interrelate with each other. My name is Mahalia Stanford and I am currently completing my Masters in International Relations, majoring in Political Violence and Counterterrorism. The main takeaway from my thesis and the research I've been doing in the sphere of counterterrorism and then really looking at white nationalism is that there is a point where people can still be brought back. I still have a lot of hope and know that there are some brilliant people who are working towards improving these de-radicalisation programs which are going to be able to help a pretty big cross-section of society. The Master of International Relations prepares you for a wide variety of careers in a number of different fields. Our graduates work in fields ranging from human rights to nuclear proliferation to corporate sustainability. My name's Shandon Harris-Hogan. I'm a subject matter specialist, um, director of my own company, but uh, working specifically in the counterterrorism and countering violent extremism area. I still, on a daily basis, kind of connect back to my IR masters. I still call and speak to regularly the uh, professors and teachers who 10 years ago taught taught me the, the basics of some of the things I do now. And I still work with them, the, those projects that we do that you come back and, and team up on and I jump at the opportunity to go back and work with those people. It's the, the skills and the knowledge that I developed that I've learned are applicable in a number of different contexts. So whether it's you know applying to work for, for government agencies or for universities, but also realizing that these skills and the knowledge is applicable outside of Australia too, that there's a much, much bigger world out there and a lot of other job opportunities to do you know amazing things around the world and it gave me that foundational knowledge to be able to to work in those contexts as well. The changes that you can make are on a global scale and there's something exciting about being able to make a big change.